Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse. I wanted to give you an update on the new and improved shader brushes by Waffle Flower. They will always have that plus sign to mean that they are new. The new brushes are Shader 0 Plus, Shader 1 Plus, Shader 2 Plus, and Shader 3 Plus. Shader 3 Plus is the larger one with the angle. Still haven't figured how to use this one to its full potential yet, but I'm getting there. Shader 2 Plus, so cute. Waffle Flower sent me that one. A whole box, this is 15 of them. This is the Shader 0 Plus. This is also sold in a package of 15, and they're quarter inch. They really feel good in the hand. The first video where I did the demo and the review, I will link it here. I really loved these, still do. So I used them recently on this. This is the Spellbinders Flower Market Collection. I use some Gina K inks, Simon Says Stamp, and All to New okay. to make these two cards. The collection is only two sets of stencils. This is Coneflower Stencil, and then this one is Blossoming Flowers. So cute. So I'll put a link for this collection of two stencils. <laughs> <laughs> I had ordered from scrapbook.com these so this was sent to me to play with, and there's also a sample pack. So the sample pack will have these four brushes in a little zip bag, so you can get a feel of them. I believe the price point is $9.99, but you'll get one of each of the four new brushes, okay? But I knew from using it in that video, this is the one I wanted. So I want to take a moment to show you what it, how it looks. You get five in the pack. This is the Shader 1 Plus. I love this so much, I ordered two sets of it because I like to have the brushes in different colors. I was also very curious about the double-ended. So you would get, in both packs, five in the pack. This is what the double-ended looks like. Brush end, brush end, and they're all slanted, okay? Both of them are half-inch slanted round tip. It's just you have end-to-end. -end. I'll be honest with you, this is where I'll stay. This. I was curious to see it. I knew what it was. I knew it was double-ended. Now that I have it in my hand, I'm like, okay, this one isn't for me. So what I will do, keep these five, just like Waffle Flower said, your travel set. Because when I put ink here and I have it down, I don't want to mix here with here. It's just my thing. I'm just like that. So I realize I want a dedicated brush for each color, not mixing. So I like that I'm going to always keep this one as my travel one and in the packaging. So I'm glad that they gave us great packaging too, that I don't have to go find packaging. So that's a double-ended. Now, how I store it, and I'm going to show you how I do store my ink. This is an item that is a lipstick holder or lip gloss holder. Simon Hurley has been using this. He loves his all to new brushes. I only have like two or three of these. These are not my favorite, but he loves them. So if you love these and you're like, I am done, great. They do fit in here. I will put a direct link for this. You can get it at Amazon, but if you search for it yourself, you're gonna find 900 of them. So I like the one that he picked. It has a great opening, great height, some of them will have small circles, but the thing is, you don't know what you're getting until you get it. It has 24 slots and it's nice, thick acrylic. So he keeps them like this. See the height? Before I was introduced to these new and improved shader brushes, I was very happy actually with the rabbit hole design brushes. So much so, I went back and ordered some new ones. This all came before this. <laughs> When I compared head to head, these two, see how they almost look alike? This performs good, this performs better. That's why I ordered more. Once I knew that, okay, this one is actually performing better, quicker coloring, but both of them do pick up ink very well. So if you do have these rabbit hole, my plan was to originally do it like this. Now that I have these, it's like, but they don't fit together. They can actually fit together too. But you see like how I like the dedicated? Because if I do the double end, I'll have ink building on the bottom here. That's gonna drive me crazy. That's why I'm like, no, it's okay. I'll keep that double tip for travel. If you want to get more bang for your buck, this is actually better because you're getting 10 brushes in here. Five, two on each side as opposed to five single. 
for me and my sanity. I like it in here, separated out by colorway, single-ended. I don't want the double. For you now, if you're loving that you can store them in this, you could get two packs of this and then you'll have like 20 colors done. That's another option. So you decide where you want to be. I want to be here where I can put them all separated and I'm all happy, happy. So I'm going to do like this, okay? And then fill them up. This is a fantastic little... <laughs> this is a fantastic little storage unit. Not a bad price point either. I think it's $12 or something like that. Also, when I was ink blending this image, see how big it is? I went back into what I also like. These are my Amazon brushes with the covers. I like to go bigger images this, then detailing. I started to come in here smaller and I do store my bigger brushes like this in this little caddy. This is from Etsy. So as you can see, I like to keep my brushes separated. I don't like them all touching each other. I don't wash them often. So I just want them to just stay by themselves. Every color, light and dark in their little lane. That's just my thing, but you don't have to be all involved like I am. But I'm just telling you, that's an option. If you are curious about these brushes, you can do the sampler pack, which would be this. Shader zero plus, one plus, two plus, and three plus. Two and three will give you those angles. These are more for doing this type of thing. I was enjoying it in the video saying it does that line detail and then feathers out. To do the line detail is straight up and down like a pen. Feather out, you go on that side like you're doing your makeup up and down, feather out. So both of these can operate that way. This I've seen used on like a big die cut to give like detail. Like if you're doing a paw, there is a new cat release at Waffle Flower and she was using this to detail the paw. So it does have a place. I haven't found an image yet for me to start going deep into it, but it would work in these bigger flowers too. This size, the shader three. The zero plus is for that spot. These centers right here coming in darker and you get 15 of these two small ones, 15 each. So these can cover all your colors. All right, crafters, everything will be detailed and linked below about these new shader brushes. My favorite right now is the shader one plus. I do have in my cart the shader zero. I think I'm going to get a pack. So thankful to Waffle Flower for sending me the shader two plus. You want to keep it in a storage like this. Then I would do the double ended. I would probably do light on top, dark on the bottom. So then when you're putting them back in, you don't get that mix. So that would be great. So you could pick up two packs of this. This would not be super heavy on your wallet. It would be like a one-time investment. If you get two packs, you would have 20. That would cover a lot of colors. If you are going to do dye ink and oxide with these brushes, then you're looking at two different sets. So you could do one set and then put the name on the outside so you don't cross-contaminate them. And definitely check this out. Oh, she's a winner on Amazon. Alrighty, crafters. Until the next video, stay crafty, my friends. Comment below if you're like, yes, I'm curious about these brushes or I have enough brushes. But if you have any kind of pain, arthritis or anything with your hand, this is your best friend for helping you do all these kind of ink blending when you start to get more detailed and smaller. You just want to get it done quickly, but you want to get it done nice. These are the brushes for you. Love them. So number one is that. Number two would be the rabbit hole. Alrighty, crafters. Until the next video. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.